Welcome back loved ones. Hope all is well and you're ready for a boatload of changes happening in the culture and the streets. For starters, this is all about pure journalistic research and theories, which include no biased thoughts. Today's video is one of the hardest to do, knowing that I personally have been a huge fan and supporter of one side, more than the other. I have been a fan of No Jumper for years, but I became the most supportive during the AD and Terrell era. So when they left and started their own brands, I immediately became supporters of them from day one. Although I was not happy about the things I was learning about Adam and No Jumper, I never completely cut them off, but I only watched when I knew or heard that the content was worth the time. With all that being said, I must say that this is the first time that it feels like Adam is in the winning seat and holding all major cards at the table. I'm going to keep it real the whole way regardless, but let's start off by sending some positive healing energy to Terrell and everyone connected with Back on Fig. Adam and No Jumper basically demolished them in one week. In this video, we will focus on the official first strike by No Jumper, which clearly was enough to cause major damage to their entire empire. Back on Fig was making the most noise and having the most viral moments. Is it possible that we were already witnessing the height of Back on Fig? Or will Back on Fig rise stronger than before from this No Jumper headshot? Oh, right, right, right. We're doing another yeah, show as well. Anyway, don't get me off track. We're going to keep talking about that. I'm going to keep going. Right. That was going off on you. I'll stop. Oh, oh maybe that's what's that in that fire that you I got. We had that little fire tonight. They, 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 they turned up in the uh, and, and to me, this is the crazy part about it is that t Rail tried to say and do every single thing that he could possibly think of yesterday to piss me off. Yeah. When you watch the interview, you are going to see an extremely restrained 22 stir. Basically, like, not talking shit, not popping shit. I was shooting people on back on Fig Bale when we had the conversation about Heather and shit. I, I was trying to clean it up aggressively for him so that it wouldn't be an issue. So, so I, I took some of his more extreme statements and tried to, like, kind of get in there and be like, you couldn't possibly have meant this, right? 